I'm Ramya from uh, um, GIT College of Education, and um, here the my topic is a parental perception of uh, children under home lockdown in the COVID-19 pandemic. Here, uh, uh, author is I uh, Ramya, and the co-author is Dr. C. Uh, Danavati, of uh, VOC College of Education, and assistant professor of history. And here, um, and about this topic here, introduction is uh, the COVID-19 um, home quarantine may make physical exercise more difficult, uh, which as we have shown in the research contributes to a, a reduction in children's and teenagers' quality of life. And here, happy, personal happiness or displeasure uh, with the cultural or intellectual conditions in which an individual life is defined as quality of life. Q-O-L is uh, uh, defined as Q-O-L, quality of life. One of the dimension of uh, quality of life is uh, health, uh, which includes not only physical but also psychological health as well as uh, people's interactions with um, others and with the uh, with also the community and here the next one is uh, parenting perception here the parenting perception is the uh, the breakdown of covid 19 in 2020 to the globe in true disarray covid 19 was designated a pandemic by the world health organization on march 11 Several cities throughout the globe have implemented safer at home or uh, social distancing um, policies, which have resulted in the closure of daycares, schools, workplaces, and companies, as well as the movement of everyday employment, education, and leisure activities into the house. Here I also mentioned the job losses. Um, uncertainty about the future, ancestors of growing ill, social isolation, and the inability to be with loved ones wreak have on um, children and adults' emotion. And uh, here the next is a pandemic mix. Here a pandemic mix is mentioned as the epidemic wreak havoc on the lives of parents and their families in unexpected ways and also many parents here throughout the world have lost their careers and sources of money and others have faced personal or family sickness um, which has had a direct impact on family life. So also working from home why aiding with child care and uh, children's schooling resulted in increased time pressure, susceptibility, anxiety, stress, depression, and burnout for those who were able to keep employment. And here the next topic is uh, experimental learning. Here uh, the pandemic had an impact on children's out of home um, learning experiences in schools and community um, programs. Extracurricular activities uh, mentioned as EAS were uh, curtailed, changed or cancelled, affecting many families in addition to school closures and shifts to distant learning. Many American children, particularly those from rich and educated um, families, spend a significant uh, lot of their out-of-school time in EAS because EA, uh, extracurricular activities, their involvement is uh, tightly associated with parenting techniques. Uh, some have stated that EAS or uh, the new nice uh, perverting American communities by socio-economic uh, uh, class. And here the next topic is positive parenting advantages. Here children's cognitive, emotional and social development are all 
um, influenced by positive parenting techniques. It improves children's cognitive, verbal, and social development. Children's externalizing behaviors are uh, reduced when parents use um, positive parenting techniques. Parent training for the promotion of uh, uh, positive parenting practices have been shown to reduce behavioral difficulties in children. Here also mentioned the family stress will be reduced and family cohesion will improve. Here uh, we go to the next topic. Here is uh, parenting in the phase of a pandemic. Here it is significant effort and planning are necessary to prepare children for the pandemic. To improve their uh, children's physical, social and emotional well-being, parents should provide the most favorable atmosphere at home. Give children age appropriate information about the epidemic and the issues it poses to their lives. It is critical to teach youngsters how to be safe in the event of a pandemic. And here, the, um, here we are going to see about the parental inspiration. Inspiration. Here, parental inspiration. Being a parent is the core category in Walker's model which means it has the most important in the model. He claims that this position is at the heart of all parental information activity, encouraging parents to seek information, directing from, uh, uh, directing their information appreciation and uh, affecting their information usage both consciously and uh, unconsciously and uh, um, after the parental inspiration um, we get into our conclusion here are uh, the co coronavirus pandemic uh, covid 19 is breaking how upon individuals all over the world everyone is having a rough time during the pandemic it is quite difficult for youngsters Positive parenting is concerned with children's particular needs and approaches daily obstacles with empathy and uh, respect. Positive parenting approaches based on compassion and love will result in um, improved outcomes in children's behavior throughout the pandemic stressful phase. And this is the conclusion uh, given for the, uh, this is the conclusion given for the parental perception of the um, COVID-19 coronavirus. And here next come the references here is the FDF 2001 Paranoid Parenting. Why ignoring the experts may be best for your child. Bloomsbury. And here the next one is Griffith AK in 2020, Parental Burnout and Child Maltreatment During the COVID-19 Pandemic. Here is mentioned in the Journal of Family Violence Advanced Online Publication. Here is the web um, bibliography uh, https dot uh, address given here. Um, and this is my reference to this paper, um, to this chapter. And uh, um, here I finished my paper here. Um, and this uh, topic may be seen. Then here is um, concluding as a parental perception of children under home lockdown in the COVID-19 pandemic. And, um, Thank you, thank you uh, for a patient listening here. Thank you, thank you so much.